So I have to make a spacer for these spindles here and this project is actually for me. These are spindles for a V8 Mustang. The Mustang that I have, you might have seen it if you followed me long enough in after work special videos, but that Mustang originally had a four cylinder engine in it. So it has four cylinder spindles in it, which requires four cylinder rotors. So we want to put eight cylinder rotors on it, which are a little bit bigger, and that requires these eight cylinder spindles. Well, this thing right here, this point where the strut mounts, for some reason this is like a quarter inch smaller than the four cylinders like so we have to make a little spacer there so that's what i'm doing here and i have some quarter inch stock and i'm just going to cut out a small little spacer for that Now as you saw from the simulation, well, I have this 5x5 five five piece and I just want to cut out the, the part. I don't want to remove all the rest of the material, I kind of want to save some of it. But I don't normally like to do that because the quarter inch end mills always get gummed up and, and build up with all the aluminum because I go too fast and it creates too much heat. So we're going to try this one more time using the cutout method, just, just cut it out, profiling it. So I was ramping in to cut this profile and as it ramps in it's, it's on an angle and it steps down uh, 50 thousandths. I had it to step down with the ramp 50 thousandths. So I took that down to 20 thousandths of an inch for the ramp in and hopefully that solves the problem. So these were a fairly easy project and it got me to test the ramping contour again as opposed to just removing all the material and then contouring around it to clean everything up. So that was just a really good test. Um, the final verdict was at 30 inches a minute at a 20,000 step down that gave me the best results without having any problems building up the end mill and whatnot. And these should work out really well. It was easy to measure everything and get all the dimensions right. Just use calipers to sort of reverse engineer the spindle itself and then go from there. It wasn't, wasn't too hard. And when all said and done, this literally took me maybe an hour and a half to complete. That's with measuring everything, drawing it up in the CAD, and making the program, and then cutting everything out. Hour and a half. It's not too bad. So I think this weekend my dad and I are going to put these things on. So I think that's it for now. So thanks for watching.